completely agree with you. Now, I'm curious about this term, Atma Kriya Meditation. Atma basically means uh, who one person is. Atma is your soul, you can call it, or the true authenticity of one person's being, you can call it. like, And, and that is a, a no, people think the Atma is fixed. It is transcending gradually. As your consciousness transcends, your awareness transcends, your Atma energy level also transcends. So the, you can call it transcend or you can call it become freer. You become a little bit more freer or you get a broader perspective of range for your uh, awareness. So the, what is limiting in life? An Atma Kriya meditation is to make you aware what is limiting. It's not about uh, getting to know yourself, but if you understand the limit, you have the key to transform it. If you don't uh, know the limit, what is hindrance, you keep doing it, it's not going to make any difference. So the an Atma Kriya meditation is not about projection. We do not... Uh, make um, um, a wish in the future, is journey there and then, right now, here, as you are, and an observation process, and there are many techniques to observe it, from physical body to the breath, to the other awareness parts of it, and the witnessing the process of it. There are several techniques of it. So the, the Kriya is basically a system of uh, self uh, realization you can call it so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. once you realize that not realizing that uh, when most people not uh, taking the what i know uh, as perception of it uh, when we meditate majority of time what people do is uh, they project where they want to be like light being or i want to be completely transformed transcend that's not important part if you arrive there or maybe never arrive there, it's irrelevant. But uh, witness who you are today, that will create the possibility. But projecting yourself in the future is unlikely. So that is the entire Atma Kriya meditation process. It's uh, working through your uh, physical body, bringing the enhancing the awareness, enhancing the uh, non-judgment capacity. Like a, the, no projection and no judgment. With a, yes. the, uh, as true as one can be at that time and full state of acceptance with no uh, uh, seeing yourself as a naked eyes as possible, as truthful as possible, with no facade, at least not lying to yourself. Mm hmm so in this meditation, you're, you're observing and being a witness to yourself and without judgment or projection, and you're seeing your trueness. And then from there, like, is there, as you're, as you're doing that, that's just, a, then it becomes a natural unfoldment of awakening. A natural form of awakening that anything is the, and when that happens is the, a, such a vastness happens because there is the, as we believe that, uh, or uh, as I believe, is that you are limitless, you are abundance. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but moment you project, you creating the limit, you creating the boundary. So all you can do maximize your capacity that far. But if you remain in the center and it, there is no problem. You can be have 360 all around it. So there is no fence. You don't have a ring fence for yourself. Yes. So that becomes the, the seed. It's like basically the... When projecting means you are meditating on the fruit. But uh, I um, encourage to understand your true nature, meditate, meditate, uh, own your true nature there and then, so your root, and you can grow. Mm -hmm. 
meditating on your true nature so you can root and grow. Wow. Yeah. And so when you say meditating on your true nature, just like do you, you're watching in your practice, you're watching the breath. You're there are many cells that you can use the breath as one vehicle. You can have the sound as one vehicle. You can have the physical body. Your skin is one vehicle. But there is the, the, the systematic way that you, how you do it. And then those are the ones. Mm. So in this weekend here at Ruby Retreats, you're going you're gonna to teach this practice? It's, yeah, absolutely. I will be teaching that practice, yeah. Excellent. So, 